And joining us live with more analysis on this is Paula Magni, Senior Lecturer in Forensic Science at Murdoch University. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you for joining us. Tell us firstly about this process of recovering the submersible in the first place. I imagine that's a an extremely delicate operation. It's delicate and it's very, very complex because it involves different um, countries as well as a different type of equipment that needs to be uh, in place uh, in the middle of nowhere in the ocean. A uh, deep dive, a deep investigation in the blue is very complex because it requires aircraft, vessels, uh, uh, um, remotely operated vehicles, and uh, we actually don't know where, where the the debris is. So first of all, it's a search and then possibly a recover uh, investigation. Mm. And in terms of when they're looking for the cause of the implosion, what will the scientists be focusing on? Every single piece of debris will give us inf information because just for the piece that we find, uh, the structure and the damages to the structure of the piece that we find can be very important. What is connected to the piece, maybe some chemical elements or some uh, human uh, debris that can be attached to the uh, wreckage debris can be important because can give us more to work on. And when we talk about those remains, and, and obviously this is a pretty grim topic, but when you look at those remains, how much will we be able to, to tell about about their final few moments. That's what's really captivated the entire world in recent yeah. days. It's it's a very sad situation. Uh, hopefully what is said from the media that is an implosion uh, means that everything happened very fast. What we can find, it all depends how the implosion happened, if it's something that happened in the main part of the vessel or just in the front or the back and the positioning of the bodies inside of the vessel can give us uh, some hope to find something and depending on what we find, give us information.